Hello everyone. I welcome you all to Geeky Script. Today I am going to show you how to install the latest version of Android Studio that is version Iguana on the Windows operating system. And after that I am also going to show you how you can easily create a simple hello world Android project within our Android Studio and then I am also going to show you how you can easily run that project onto our Android phone. So I am going to show you all the steps on this video. I am also going to show you how you will not need any emulator only if you have your Android phone. So that phone will be sufficient enough to test your Android app that you are building over Android Studio. So all of that I am going to show you on this video. So do watch the video till the end. If you face any issues in middle, you can always comment in our comment section. I will try my best to help you. Now to install the latest version of Android Studio that is Android Studio Iguana, you have to first simply go to your favorite browser and to just simply search over here Android Studio Download and hit enter and immediately you will be seeing this download Android Studio as a first link so this is the sponsored one you can click on this link or you can click on this link as well so that is basically developer.android.com alright so just simply click on the link and it's going to redirect to the official site of android studio and you can see that we are redirect to the official site of android studio so this link i'm going to put right in our description all right so you can directly use that link to land over to the official site of android studio and once you are here you can see that our latest version of android studio version ignuana is rightly available to download so just you know, simply click on this download link so it will show you this license agreement you need to scroll down and to accept this license agreement and to click on download android studio and it's going to start downloading our android studio you can see it is rightly started right so the file size is 1.1 gigabyte so i have already downloaded it so i need to i'll just simply cancel this i'll minimize my browser and i'll go to my download directory and you can see that our latest version of android studio is already been downloaded over here so just you need know, to simply double click on the installer in order to install it locally on your system and you can see that our setup is rightly started launching so it will ask you for administrative privileges just simply click on yes and you can minimize your download directory and you can see welcome to android studio setup so just simply click on next over here and it will show you the screen so here as i have told you we will not need any virtual device so i'll uncheck this and we'll use our android phone itself to test our app all right so unnecessarily like if you check this you can see that space required is 3.5 gigabyte but if you uncheck this immediately it is 2.5 right so there is no need to additionally you know install virtual device when most of the users are already having an android phone right so you can use that phone itself so uncheck this and click on next so this is where our android studio is going to be installed which is totally fine just simply click on next and uh, it's going to create android studio folder which is also totally fine and click on install and immediately you'll be seeing that our installation is rightly began right so let's wait for a couple of minutes so we'll come back and you can see that our android studio is successfully installed so just simply click on next over here so you can see completing android studio setup start android studio you can always you know go to search and type android studio to find our android studio and you can open it from here as well and i have already checked this so i'll click on finish to launch our android studio and you can see it is now showing to import the android studio setting so if you are installing it for the first time then you should be clicking like do not import settings and click on ok and here you can always you know send some anonymous data to google for making the software uh, more robust so now you can always click on send use the statistics to google and you can start proceeding installing our android studio so welcome to android studio click on next so it is asking what type of installation you want to do whether you want to do standard or you want to do customize so i'll you know choose customize as i am going to you know install some of the component but i don't want to install any virtual device right so i'll you know go with custom and click on next so now you can see that it is you know giving some of the options like this android virtual device so i'll uncheck this we will not need any virtual device we'll use our android phone itself similarly we'll no need any emulator so i'm going to you know, uncheck that we'll also uh, not require any hack shame because we are not going to use our emulator 
right so we will only you know select this android sdk and our android version 14 and all other things are totally fine so this is where our android sdk is going to be installed so everything is fine just simply click on next and you see it's ready to be installed click on next so these are all things that it's going to install click on next and you need to accept the license agreement select this click on accept select this click on accept select this click on accept and click on finish and immediately you can see that our you know download is rightly started so you have to have active internet connection so i can say like the real download process is just began so it will going to download a lot of files from internet and going to install it locally on your system so you need to have you know decent amount of internet you know bandwidth available so that it can successfully download all the files and install it locally on your system so this entire process will take some time you know about 10 minutes i would say so you can you know grab some coffee or tea which, whichever you like and you can again come back to this video all right so i'll be also doing the same so we'll come back and you can see that our all components are actually downloaded over here you can see that our android sdk is up to date so you know everything is fine and good we are good to go so just simply click on finish and it will launch our android studio you can see welcome to android studio right so let's you know maximize this so this is the interface of our android studio so first it will show you these three options like whether you want to create a new project or you want to open any existing project or you want to connect just to some open source library all right so from here i'm going to you know going to create a new project so i'll click on new project and you can see we have a lot of activities available so i'll choose empty activity and i'll proceed with next so here we are we need to give a project name so let's give the project name as you know hello android and you can see that our package name is also set our you know project save location is also set and minimum sdk will be android 7.0 so you know whichever android devices are currently active now so starting from android 7.0 till android 14 it will going to support so you can see that about 96.3 percent of the total devices are going to support with this project or with this app that you are developing that is android hello android all right so and everything is fine so default language they have selected as kotlin you can use groovy as well so i'm going to you know recommend they have recommended kotlin so i'm going to keep that and i'm going to you know click on finish and you can see it is that we started creating our project so let's you know maximize our screen you can see what's new in Iguanas, you can always read this all the version control system everything you can always read this for now let's wait for a couple of minutes so it will you know going to generate some of the sources going to install some of the packages libraries all of that you can see it is importing all the gradles and all of stuff so let's wait for a couple of minutes again you need to have active internet connection for this also you can see it is downloading gradle and installing so it will take time and also you need to have active internet connection so we'll come back and now you can clearly see that our all packages and libraries are successfully installed so you can see we don't have anything running up over here so everything is done now so our what's new article is also opened about ignuana and our project is also rightly opened you can always expand our app and you can see that we have you know all these folders so i'll expand our kotlin plus java and you can see we have all these packages so from here if i expand the first one you can see that we have this ui.theme and then we have this main activity.kotlin so this file exactly is what it is opened over here all right so now let's minimize this one here is our project so we are developing it is in kotlin so kotlin then main activity.kt that is the kotlin file is already been opened over here right so here is our code so if if you you know click on this split screen it's going to show you the design over here so for that first you need to click on this build and refresh and it's going to start building our project and it's going to show you the design part over here so let's wait for a minute and there you go you can see the output right hello android so basically you know i am using uh, 
i3 processor i3 uh, 11th generation processor so uh, as many of my you know students are uh, keep on asking that uh, so I, I have i3 so whether i'll be able to install android studio i whether i'll be able to run android studio and all that so yes uh, you can do that okay i am currently doing in i3 itself so you can do that so only thing is probably you will need ssd ssd will be very helpful as you know probably if you are using hard disk then you might see some sort of lag issue but if you are using ssd i'd say it is totally fine ssd 8 gb of ram and i3 11th gen or 10th gen will actually do all right so yeah so here we can see the hello world uh, sorry hello android on the design plate so let's say you want to you know change something here like let's say we have hello right so let's say we want to change with hello instead of hello let's say we are changing with hi so as we change that immediately you can see it is compiling and here it is loading and you can see the output hi and right right so so whatever change you are making immediately it, it going to reflect it over here so now the question is how we can run uh, this project on our android phone right so for the for that the first thing that you need to do is you need to you know uh, pick up your USB cable and you need to connect that in your laptop over that cable and your phone right so this is uh, I think every, everybody has done that so you need to connect your laptop with the USB I'm currently doing that and in phone it's going to ask you that whether you'd like to allow access to your phone data so you need to click on allow over here and as soon as you do that it will again ask you whether you'd like to allow USB debugging. You need to again do allow for that. And when you do that, you can see that Samsung phone, SM M12 7G phone is actually gets, you know, recognized over here, right? And when uh, you get that device recognized within Android Studio, it click on this run button. So when you click on run button, what happens in the background is it, it you know, going to start building our project. And if it gets successfully built it, so let's say you don't have any errors on your program, so then only it will get successfully built it. Okay. So when you, when it gets successfully built it, it's going to push that code, you know, as an APK format into our phone. So in our phone, you will be able to see shortly that this you know Hello Android app going to be installed there and going to be also launched over there. Right. So it takes some time. So let's wait for some time. So you can see that our installed successfully. So Gadil build is finished and in our phone, you can see the output high Android, right? So you can clearly see that it that is coming. So in this way, you can easily install Android Studio. You can easily, you know, create Android project. You can easily use your Android phone itself to, you know, to do all sort of testing that you are developing within Android Studio. So only one thing that I'd like to mention is probably uh, you might not get straightforward uh, connected with your phone so that's because probably the developer option might not be enabled so for that you need to go to settings over here and uh, need to you know scroll down and here you can see that we already have developer option enabled right so that is because I have enabled that so I now I'm going to show you how you can enable that so you need to have this developer option enabled so uh, only when it is enabled then only you'll be able to connect with you with your laptop okay so for that into you know let's first disable a developer option then only i'll show you so now i am disabling it so i have disabled it so let's go back so now you not no longer going to see that developer option right only you are seeing ab only about phone so you need to click on this about phone and then you need to click on this build number so you have to keep on clicking on this build number then it will show you this uh, look, pattern so it will give the pattern and now you can see that developer mode is turned on so you have to keep on clicking this build number for some time so it doesn't matter what phone you are using you basically understood the point right you need to go to your about section then go to software information and then you need to click on the build number so you can see on Google also like how you can enable a developer option on your phone. So probably if you are using Redmi, you probably need to shine, sign into some sort of account they will probably ask you. So it varies from phone to phone, but you basically understood the point, right? The point is you need to have developer option enabled. Once you have that, you go back 
and you can see that developer option is in right now there so go there and here you need to again scroll down i need to enable this usb debugging enable that click on okay so once you have that then only it will ask you that pop up so accept this allow and you will be able to see the uh, your phone right on your android studio itself all right so that is the another point that i wanted to mention so probably in my previous videos i have already talked about this probably you might not have seen those things so that's why i wanted to repeat that again all right so yeah so that's how you enable your uh, developer option and you enable your phone uh, as a developer option and you connect that over your android studio all right so yeah that's pretty much all about this video i know this video is a bit long but uh, i hope I, I i was able to help you so i i was able to explain all the things related to android studio and how to create project and all that uh, and use your android phone itself all right so i have also started geeky syntax channel so here regularly i am posting coding related videos so please do subscribe our geeky syntax channel that will really motivate me to make more such videos and i have also started geeky skip blogging channel so if you're interested you can also subscribe this channel as well so that's basically all about this video thank you very much for watching this video and god bless you all